you can sense quickly that this is probably some type of gastrointestinal organ because you see smooth muscle bands thick going in various directions. You see a loose fatty uh, adventitious serosa, fatty connective tissue on one side, and you can see some type of glandular mucosa on this side. Uh, your sense of normalcy is instantly destroyed by a couple of things that you are bothered by. One of them are all these black dots that you've never seen before. And the other thing is this little uh, epithelial proliferation here, which is probably bothering you. So if you looked at it, you could see in this one area, there is a, a cancer. It's an adenocarcinoma. And as you could see, it's going uh, infecting, in, I'm sorry, invading, infiltrating smooth muscle. Okay, that's the easy diagnosis. Let's go back to the area, however, of the mucosa. Uh, is this a squamous mucosa or is this a glandular mucosa? It looks squamous, sort of. It looks inflamed, but at least it doesn't look like cancer. However, there's something here that bothers you. What are all these black dots within the mucosa, within the submucosa, and perhaps even approaching the wall? Uh, we've never seen this before. Well, this is schistosomiasis. So this guy has really, really... Uh, bad problems in that he has a colon cancer, number one. Number two, in this part of the uh, rectum or bowel, I say uh, rectum because I see a lot of squamous looking mucosa there, could be lower rectum. We see these little black uh, eggs within submucosa and mucosa associated with some inflammation, but mostly just surrounded by fibrous tissue. This is schistosomiasis. This is also called bilharzia. This is a flatworm parasitic disease, so-called blood fluke. And I'm going to show you a, a map of where these uh, critters are usually found. If my uh, program decides to open... And I'm not too sure if you saw that or not, so let's look at it again. Uh, if you look at the colors that are not orange but are yellow, blue, or green, this is the distribution of bilharzia or schistosomiasis. If you would like to see what an adult would look like after one of these eggs grows up, it would look like this. And if you would like to see what the eggs should look like in the laboratory, rather than in a patient's tissue, they could very easily look like this. And this is a classical uh, picture right here in which you can see a little barb along the side. When you see something like this, this is absolutely a schistosome egg. There's nothing else in the world that looks like it. Thank you very much.